Greetings, Preacher Rick with you with the Word of God, Live at Five. So thankful. I say to all, watch is the title of our sermon today. I say to all, watch, watch, watch. Watch for what? Well, we'll get to that in a moment. But before we do, today's a, a day that I need to testify just momentarily of how good God has been to me. And I know some of you are watching this in the future, some might, maybe in the distant future. Only God knows. But I'm very thankful for this day, Wednesday, August the 7th, um, I'm August, yeah, <laughs> I, I've had a long day, so you have to just laugh with me and pardon me, but uh, I realize this is April and it's the 7th of 2021, and my wife uh, got real sick, she's been real sick lately, and I'm testifying of God's goodness, because She's been to the doctor and ended up going to the hospital in the wee hours of the morning. And they put her straight in for tests and they sent her to a cath, heart cath, and suspected that she'd had a heart attack. And praise be unto God for his unspeakable gift. She did have a blockage of 99% in her widow maker, the main vein to the heart. They went in and put it. Stand in, and she is fine, and there was no heart damage. Praise God. Before she went, I want to share with you a verse that her and I shared together when we were having prayer. It's in the 73rd Psalm, and it reads like this, verse 26. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart. Amen. And my portion forever. And God was the strength of my dear wife's heart, Teresa, and he will continue to be until he calls us home. Yes, it's appointed to each one of us to die. And however he chooses, whenever he chooses. In the meantime, he's the strength of her heart. He's the strength of my heart. He's the strength of everyone's heart that puts their faith in him. Bless his name. Well, now to the sermon. I just had to testify of God's goodness in my life. And I praise him from the depths of my heart for watching over her and keeping her safe. Glory to his name. Thank you for your prayers. And now we turn to the 13th uh, chapter of Mark. Uh, I say to all, watch. Let's read a few verses here, starting in verse 32. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed. Now notice what he said. Take ye heed, watch, and pray, for ye know not when that time is when the time is. For the Son of Man, as a man taking a far journey, who left his house, and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. At even, at the evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all. Watch. I say unto all. Watch. That's you. Me. We are to be watching for his appearing. And it could happen. And uh, there'll be those that will say, well, we've heard that all of our life. And Peter talked about that. Uh, you know, and they scoff and they make light of it. As if, well, things continue on like they've always been. And so on and so forth. Well, yeah. That's the way it seems. But as sure as we're here together on this broadcast, he's coming. And we better, better be watching. We need to take heed to the Word of God. I want to give you some passages you can read to help you on that. Uh, you should read Matthew 24, 36 through 51. And you should read Luke 21, 34 through 36. And I may read them for you, at least some of them. But over in Matthew... Uh, 24 I'll, I'll look just for a second uh, he says but of that day and in, in verse 36 of that day and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven same thing we read there in Mark but the father only but as the days of Noah talking about Noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be for as in the day in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. 
and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Uh, and it goes on. But in verse 42, there's the word watch again. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. Then over in, uh, as I was giving you that scripture over in uh, Luke, uh, well, 21, 34, it has some very, very strong language through Christ. The words are read, the first three verses. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, that's, that's overeating and, and gluttonous, and drunkenness and cares of this life, cares of life, drunkenness, that would be drugs or alcohol, anything that makes you drunk. And so that day come upon you unawares. In other words, you're letting this life rule instead of your spiritual life, that you're letting the carnal nature have control. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, there's that word watch again, and pray always that ye may be counted, accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. That would be Jesus, bless his name. And these two next verses are not in red, but to the Word of God, and boy, they're strong. And in the day time, and in the day time, he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out, abode. No, that's not the verse that I was thinking of, so I, I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, he warns us to watch. So where we took our text from, is Mark 13, 32 through 37. And the last verse says, I say unto all, watch. And that's the title of our sermon, and no wonder, because it's for all of us. And all is all that all can be, as the old saying is. And that means you, that means me, that means everyone. We need to watch for his appearing. We need to look toward the sky and realize. The Bible says, when you've done all but stand, stand and see the salvation of God. And watch. For you know not what hour the Son of Man doth come. So we know that he's coming. We just don't know what hour, what day. But we can tell by the signs of the time that it's nearing. Because of the way people are. They're so far from God. So far from living a life that's fruitful in the Spirit. So far from uh, cherishing uh, the Bible. And so far uh, from always uh, being praying down revivals and and seeing souls saved. People are so self-centered today that they can't think of someone being saved because they can't think of anything except themselves. And that's where why he wrote in there about the surfeiting, overeating, and, and the cares of life, and, and all the things that will burden you down because this life will burden you down. May we pray, our most kind and gracious Father, save the lost, help us all to watch. In these last couple of minutes I got, I pray you'll send the preacher upon us, dear God, that we might preach one more time your blessed, unsearchable riches in Jesus' name. Save the lost and bless your church. Amen. And I'm so thankful for the church and to be a part of the church. Uh, and God has his Christians, thank God, out there. Uh, but we need to band together in one mind and one accord and watch, uh, uh, thank God, and realize uh, uh, that the day of redemption is at hand. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, we're going to endure hard times while we're here, and we're to endure hardness. Uh, and things will come against us. Uh, and life is not easy. No one ever said it was. Uh, uh, but I'm so thankful uh, uh, that we've got one uh, that we can put our faith and trust in that will get us through every trial. Uh, he said cast all your cares upon him because uh, he cares for you. Uh, I thank God. So watch. Keep your eyes open. Uh, don't allow yourself uh, uh, to get drawn away with the lusts and temptations of the flesh uh, that keep you from praying, that keep you from going to church, uh, that keep you from being everything uh, uh, that God would have you to be. Uh, uh, just listen to God. Uh, uh, thank God. And you'll go right uh, and watch for his appearing because it's going to happen uh, uh, there's a great day coming called the rapture now the, I've heard people say but well, rapture is not in the Bible uh, well that's like saying the Bible is not in the Bible uh, the word Bible is not in the, in the pages of the Bible but that doesn't mean it's not the Bible 
And the word rapture is not in the Bible, but that doesn't mean it's not in the Bible. Uh, it's just not in that word. It's to be caught up in the air, to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, and he's coming after a church without blemish and spot uh, that's been washed in the blood, cleansed from all unrighteousness. Uh, uh, thank God he loves you. Uh, he loves all of us, and he's coming after us. That great day of the rapture uh, is uh, close. There's no doubt in a lot of people's mind. Uh, all we have to do is look around us and see the time that we're living in, uh, the technology and the and the uh, uh, mode of people uh, and how far they've come from uh, uh, the truth of the Bible uh, and how far we've strayed away like sheep. Uh, but I'm so glad, thank God, we have that great shepherd coming after his sheep. Uh, and I'm watching for his appearing. Uh, I'm watching and waiting, uh, uh, thank God. Uh, uh, wait upon the Lord and he shall renew your strength. Uh, and our strength... Uh, uh, thank God, come from our joy. Uh, that's why it says to rejoice evermore, uh, regardless of what you're going through. Put your faith in the cross uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ at the foot of it, uh, where that precious blood that he shed on it ran. Uh, thank God that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Uh, bless his loving and holy name. I'm watching. I'm watching for his appearing, and I look for it every day. Uh, and if I go by the way of the grave, uh, I'll still be in that number, because the dead in Christ shall rise first, uh, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up uh, in the rapture, thank God, to be caught up uh, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Watch. Watch. He's coming. He's coming. Are you ready? I hope so. This is Preacher Rick. Until the next time, we're praying for you. We appreciate your prayers. We love you all. Bye-bye.